and thank you for watching our video about filing your Form 5500 for 2014. My name is Nazrin from the Compliance Department here at Ubiquity Retirement and Savings. This video is only for the new filers who don't have a username and PIN with the DOL website. If this is your second or third or nth time filing the form, you already have a username and PIN um, you can retrieve that on the DOL website by going to efast.dol.gov if you've forgotten your information and just clicking on forgotten ID and they'll send you an email to set you back up. If not, uh, just stay on board here and we'll show you how to get a new profile with the DOL that you'll use to sign your Form 5500. And just to give you a little bit of a background on the form, it is a tax return for your plan, essentially. And it shows the IRS and the DOL the activity during the year in terms of contributions, distributions, earnings and fees, and any balance at the end of the year, which is December 31st, 2014. And it's due on July 31st. So it's important that you either submit it or, or ask us questions about getting an extension. Now, there's three steps overall to finding a Form 5500, and we'll only cover step one, which is getting your DOL username and PIN. Steps two and three are fairly simple, and well, they'll be covered in video number two. So if, if you already have step one covered, go ahead and click on the second video, and um, you'll be navigated to the instructions about filing the form through our portal. Now, let's get started for you. For those of you who haven't ever filed a 5500 and need a DOL username and PIN, in the email, we've sent you a link to the eFast DOL website, and it's www.efast.dol.gov. It's um, where my mouse is hovering right now. You can just type that into your browser, www.efast.dol.gov. And when you type that in, you'll be navigated to something that looks like this, and you'll click on register on the left. Here, they'll ask you to agree to a privacy statement and you'll be asked to enter your information and this will be information on the trustee or the plan sponsor who will be signing the form. The plan sponsor who will be signing the form is usually the representative of the company. So in the, our case, Ubiquity Retirement and Savings is represented by a CEO, so he would be signing the form um, or whoever he elects. And just to, to just make sure that whoever has this profile is an authorized signer of the form. Now here you just want to make sure that the email you use is valid and has no typos because that's where they'll be sending you a confirmation link when you set up your account. So just make sure that's valid. And under the user type below, you want to select filing author, signer and transmitter. And just to make sure the company name is the name of the company who's sponsoring the plan. Here I'm just going to quickly set up a couple of um, mock username challenge questions in case you lose your username or in any event your password. And that's it. Here it'll just ask you to make sure everything looks good and if not click on the edit button but if it is um, you click on submit, wait a couple minutes and you'll get an email from them and the email will look like this and it'll have a link um, that you'll be able to click on to verify your account and I don't have screenshots unfortunately of what happens but they will just ask you to verify an agreement and set up a password and they'll give you a user ID which is the letter A followed by seven numbers and you'll notice that on the link that they send you on the email it's also the very last piece of that link A2068713 and yours will be different but it'll be the letter A followed by seven numbers and after that, you'll go back to the DOL website when, once you create your password and you'll enter the user ID that they gave you, which is the A followed by seven numbers and then the password that you just created. And if you by any chance forgot the user ID and password, you can click on those two links below where it asks you um, if you forgot them and you can just reset everything using your security question. So once I'm done with that, I just go ahead and click on login and I'll be navigated to the home page. I'm having a little bit of a delay on my screen. There we go. And on the home page, you'll see a link that says view your pin. And that's basically it. You'll click on that link and it'll show you your pin. And you just want to write that down somewhere. So you want to write that down and have your username that starts with the A and the seven letters on a piece of paper together. You're going to use those two pieces on video number two when we show you how to submit your 5500 through our portal so make sure you watch that video thank you